Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm doing a sort of update for this incredible transition that I'm going through right now. And I want to take uh, the time also to thank those who have donated so generously. Thank you very much. It will help. And no matter how much uh, you've donated, I, from the very bottom of my heart, from the deepest part of me, I thank you. And I wanted to give a shout out to those um, Anique, <laughs> Anaki, um, I, I hope I pronounced that correctly, A-N-N-E-K-E, Anna, and Eki. <laughs> it's a beautiful name. Thank you for your donation. Thank you so much. And Wendy, thank you very much, Wendy. I shall try and utilize your donation towards a happy and uh, safe transition. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Tarot Reading. <laughs> and thank you, Paula. And Therapy in Massage, thank you so much. Thank you, Anatolia. Anatolia. Thank you, Jason. And thank you, Jiki. Uh, J-I-K-K-E, Jiki. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. And thank you, Advice to Think twice. <laughs> and thank you, Penny. Thank you, Yali, and Hagen, and Victoria. Thank you very, very much. Um, I don't know if you've been in this situation, and, and for those of you who are uh, not yet, you haven't seen my other previous video in which I introduce uh, the problem, the, the, the crisis that I'm going through. I, I live in Sarasota, Florida, and I've lived here for almost 16 years now. And I've been through several hurricanes here, but not to the severity of these last two. And these last two hurricanes, particularly Milton, was very frightening. And those in the interior of Florida suffered, oh, it was an uh, ungodly amount of uh, tornadoes, a hundred, over a hundred tornadoes. And tornadoes can even be more devastating than a hurricane. But the hurricane itself, for, for me in my situation, um, took away my home in that I have to surrender the apartment that I've been living in to my landlord's family, relatives, because they suffered uh, more severely in this and they need my apartment. So I was given uh, notice <laughs> that I had to leave very soon. So. At the same time, because I teach yoga on Siesta Key Beach outdoors, that is the beach that was hit directly by Milton. It came up on Siesta Key Beach. So my, my primary income um, has been eliminated completely. And then, <laughs> to top it off, and they say everything comes in threes. It's true. And then the uh, between hurricanes, just before Milton, um, my car decided to completely die <laughs> in the middle of the street. So I had it towed to the garage, and then the garage had me tow it back to my house, and I had to tow it back to the garage. So it's then a... Uh, uh, 
very trying times for me and I'm sure for many, many thousands of people. I just want to thank you for your help. If you can give it, um, I am forced because of my situation to move back to my home, my previous home. 16 years ago, I lived on Maui and I know it well. So I think I have the best chance of a relatively smooth relocation because I am familiar with Maui. I lived on Maui uh, for longer than I've lived here in uh, Sarasota and I know it well. So hopefully there's the professional climate there for what I am interested in doing, which is astrology, the tarot, and yoga. Those are my primary interests. And Maui is the place where there is a, a high level of spiritual almost as if there's a filter, a spiritual filter there, and you receive what you want most immediately when you're there. That, that's what I noticed. So the karma is very profound. So you must be on your best behavior <laughs> when you are in Maui. And so I'm leaving on the 30th, um, which isn't very much, I don't have much time. Uh, I don't know if, if uh, you've been in a similar situation where you have to uh, leave quickly from a place and you realize <laughs> that you've accumulated things, stuff, as George Carlin would say, you know, stuff. And then you make a suitcase and you put uh, your vital stuff <laughs> into it. And I've tried, I've been trying to find those things that I own, that I possess, that mean something to me, that I truly want. And uh, because the only thing um, that I can take is that literally <laughs> almost what I can put on into these two suitcases that must be of a certain size, uh, according to Delta. So those are the two suitcases that will hold my most valuable possessions. Of course, there's photos, and that's self-evident. You bring the photos that um, bring your memories with you, or those that have been captured. And you bring vital clothing to provide warmth and um, uh, beauty. Sometimes, if, if you things that I have, I have a few scarves that I'm going to be bringing that um, I'm very fond of. And uh, there's a child. A four-year-old child where I'm going. Um, I've seen a picture of that child, very cute, and so I bought a hand puppet for that four-year-old child. Hopefully that hand puppet will be um, appropriate for the age. I don't have any children myself. Um, I was married once, but um, we never had any children, so it would be nice to be in a house with a, a, a young child. Um, again, I'll bring you along, and I want very much to find a place in this new environment, and I'm not sure what it will be like or what I'll find. It, it's, it's relatively remote, so... Um, Hopefully it has internet and everything, but I want to be able to 
uh, create a, a new setting, a new stage for my readings, and uh, hopefully to create, uh, to bring in the ambiance of Maui into that setting, because Maui is very, very um, physically beautiful place. Um, I'll be moving to the side of the volcano, which is hopefully dormant, <laughs> hopefully dormant. Um, and I will uh, incorporate two scenes of Maui. I want to show you Maui, the way I remember her and the way that I know that she um, shines brightly. Uh, But mostly I want to thank you for your donations because this comes, this whole thing comes as a shock in, in a sense, just like the hurricane was a shock. This consequent major life change at 72, but mind you, I'm 72, is, is very daunting. A little frightening but I know that um, I have many friends out there who've been watching my readings for almost eight years some less of course but many the whole time and that's uh, 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 an incredible thought to me Invisible friends, you know. Best friends that uh, I've never met. So I want to thank you again uh, for helping in whatever way you can. I appreciate it deep down. Um, and I'll keep you uh, abreast of what's going on. Uh, namaste.